Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And let's see, in the last video, I was going, uh, or actually doing some little test assembly and stuff like that with this uh, little laser rail guide slide sled thing. <laughs> and uh, let's see, I got the little sled made. So it's just tacked together right now but I did run into some issues with the RC car that I was using. So basically the idea was to, you know, propel the sled using the RC car and a little remote control controller. Um, it all seemed to work conceptually, but in design and testing, it did not work at all. So the little RC car just couldn't hold up with, you know, the strength that it needed. Um, little motors are not so great and the car wasn't so great in the first place. So, uh, I'm having to rethink the, uh, the design idea, and I have another um, concept that I'm going to uh, put together today and try to uh, test it out and see how well that works. And basically what I'll be doing is going back to the original design where I used the pulleys, uh, as you can see on this end, and it had cables that wrapped around and went on one side of the car and all the way around the car, really. And uh, those are the cables in that big box of mess. So, uh, so it'll be cable driven, and the cables will pull the sled back and forth. Um, and I'll have the tension spring and stuff like that inside of it. And I will uh, use the original motor that I used before on the gantry system, which really is just a, uh, a simple windshield wiper motor. And it's a uh, very strong, torquey motor. I never really realized how strong windshield wiper motors are, but uh, they are very strong. So, uh, so I'm, I'm going to use this motor, and I have a little bracket that I made for it, you know, originally. And it looks like I'll still be able to use that bracket to mount everything up. And basically, I'll just weld it to the end and get everything aligned, uh, lined the way that it needs to be to pull the little sled back and forth. So. That's what I'm going to do um, right now is just do a, a test assembly again of this idea and hope that it works out better than the idea using the RC car. So uh, one thing that I lose is the remote control part of it, so I'll have to have like a wire with the switch. At least for now, I, I did order a uh, ESC uh, deal off the internet, which is an ele electronic speed controller for an RC car. And I, it's it's a uh, I don't know it's like a 50 amp uh, controller, and it'll allow me to basically pass from a 110 volt transformer to 12 volts that powers this thing, pass the 12 volts through the ESC, and allow me to control the speed of this thing while also using one of the little remote control. Uh, controllers to move it up and down the track. So it'll still be a remote control and it'll be plugged in to 110 volt outlet. So I won't have to worry about batteries and all that other mess on it. So I think that's going to work out better uh, in the long run. Plus I'll have all the power in the world to, to pull this thing, um, which is kind of a tight fit on the rail and that's how I want it. I don't really want it too loose because uh, I don't want too much play in the setup. So um, so I, I think that's going to work out good, but uh, we'll see when I get it all set up and, and put together. But uh, this, I'm not sure if I went over this before, but this is kind of what the little dolly cart rail slide doohickey <laughs> looks like. So it's just really kind of a box. It's all very square um, and it's just tacked together right now. I don't know if I'll need this uh, third plate on the top, but uh, I'm just going to leave it there for now. So essentially it just clamps on uh, using itself and I'll probably have like a little, maybe some type of adjuster plate that I'll add pressure to this, but it just sticks on. So see it like that and I'll get a different angle here. So you can see it's notch on this deal and how this is. Uh, shape so it's flat on this side and this will be the side that I need to sand and make sure that it's just perfectly straight because this is going to be the side that 
is going to hold the lasers and shine down so I can't have this bumpy or, or anything um, so this just like that get back with the camera and slides on like that and what I did is I put some kind of experimenting with two different types of grease I have some graphite grease on this side which is like a dry uh, lubricant it's not really a grease and then I have lithium grease on this side and it works pretty good it works really good when they mix together like that so uh, you know works pretty good as far as a uh, lubricant goes so we'll see and we'll see how, how long the uh, sliders last on that are sliding up against the rail and if I need to I can always convert that over to, uh, to like some brass wheels or some type of metal wheel or something like that but right now I think it's going to work out fine for as much as I need to use it. So I did buy some new sliders though just to give me a little bit more uh, surface area on it but uh, that's about it really. Um, I'll uh, go over again in another video after I assemble everything and show you how it all works so hopefully this new uh, concept idea of how to move the cart back and forth will work pretty good and I'll just update you on another video and I'll do a little high speed action with me assembling this thing and all that so anyway stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next video bye Hey guys, welcome back, and here is an update on the rail situation. Um, as you can see, doesn't look like a whole lot is done. I uh, have the rail sled uh, laser thing mounted, um, but in fact, it's all finished actually. So, let me uh, kind of show you how it works now. So, there's the sled as it moves. Um, I still have to uh, sand the side deal so it's smoother. Um, it's running over some uh, epoxy and resin stuff, so it's kind of choppy until I sand it down. But this kind of gives you an idea of how it works. So it's going back and forth. I have it hardwired at the moment, so it's actually connected to uh, a DC power source and a little switching mechanism that's in my hand. So if you recognize, <laughs> recognize this um, it's from a car uh, switch deal so when I press up it goes that way press that way it goes that way and it's lit up this is what I actually used on the previous um, system and it worked good so I, I may stick with this for a little bit but uh, like I said I did order that uh, ESC uh, controller deal so I may use that uh, instead but this kind of gives you an idea of how it works and it's pretty fast actually so it's a little faster than it was on the, uh, the previous setup because it doesn't have to turn so, much, so many uh, uh, wheels and cabling and just uh, heavier stuff so uh, it's a little more responsive and everything I have a laser uh, on, projected on the ground but I don't even tell <laughs> um, it's wiggling a little bit and that's mainly because of the sanding I need to do. I need to smooth the sides down, like I said. So, so anyway, uh, let me put this down and I'll show you the how it works part. Um, let's see. Yeah, I did uh, 
film the building of everything, but my camera's acting a little strange, and when I went to go preview it, some segments were black, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to do the time lapse part or not. So if you don't see it, that's what happened to it. All right, so let's take a look. I'm trying not to get more grease on myself. Um, here's the sled, and basically I took that, there's that panel that's right here, I took it off, and I put it on the back side. Um, and here is the cable. It's uh, very taut. And what I've done is I took a, uh, this is like a cable secure bolt deal, and I kind of ground on a little bit and welded it directly to this and uh, applied this cable deal to it. As you can see, it's very, I mean, it doesn't move at all. It's very strong. I don't know. I got a macro. Hang on. Oh, look at that. So, <laughs> um, that kind of gives you an idea of what it looks like. And now if I come down the rail a little more, you'll see more stuff. So, this is how it's connected and I have this huge like 150 pound or 200 pound spring um, and this is what's applying uh, tension on the cable and then I have a turnbuckle set up next in line and the turnbuckle is used so that I can uh, apply tension to the whole cable system so all I do is turn this deal and these the screw thing turns uh, inward and, and basically these close in and that little gap gets smaller and what it does is it pulls this the spring more so it's a way of applying tension to cables you'll see them like on uh, telephone poles holding telephone poles up and securing the uh, building pieces and things like that so let me turn the macro thing back off the camera Hang on. all right so all right so I'm gonna climb over <clears throat> okay <laughs> Uh, so that kind of gives you a, an idea of how it's attached to the back side and so <clears throat> let me show you Ugh. all right so when I turn it you can see the two cross and then it goes that way see how that works all right so what's going on is down at this end I have oh, Jesus I have Something stuck in my foot. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right, so here's the pulley setup. I have two on here because that's what I had before, and the second one's just acting as a spacer. But these little pulleys are the same pulleys for garage door openers. Um, or not garage door openers, but garage doors uh, mechanism, you know, to make, uh, make the garage doors open. Or a little cable setup. Matter of fact, all this is from a garage store, even this cable uh, and the wheels. So, so that's this end. Not a whole lot going on. So we'll go down to this end. Da -da -da, where it's all messy. All right. And there is the uh, windshield wiper motor um, and how it's affixed. Let's see if I can get that macro thing going so you can kind of see how. It's uh, it's all done. And, oof, my hands are shaking. I need to eat. <laughs> um, all right, so there is how it's all kind of going through the system and the motor. As a matter of fact, this motor actually works off of my little RC battery. I was surprised, but it'll pull the whole thing. It's a little slower um, because it doesn't have as many amps. I'm running uh, 10 amps and 12 volts through this. Uh, motor right now which is a ton so um that's what that looks like this is just a junkyard specialty and off with macro and that's it so like i said i wanted to keep it simple i got two mounting points i have the drive system on this end i have the drive system down at that or the pulley system down at the other end and then in the middle i have the sled attached to the top wire or top uh, cable and then on the bottom cable because it's heavier it'll just hang down at the bottom like this and just bounce you know uh, and I have the uh, spring to uh, apply tension and then I have the turnbuckles so that I can adjust the the tension on the system so the tighter it is the smoother it will operate um, but you don't want to get too tight on this spring you just need to pull it a little bit 
otherwise if that thing breaks it's gonna kill somebody so um, so that's it and the next uh, stage is to tweak on the sled a little more and make sure it's a uh, tight and doesn't move as you can see it's a lot more solid now so um, and then I'll mount this whole setup to the ceiling and then it'll be done so that's it nice little quick project oh oh okay hang on <laughs> uh yeah so there you go nice and uh, simple setup it's pretty smooth and quiet there it goes all right see put the camera on it oh let's see it's a little jiggly cool that all right, it's my uh, my new camera track system. What do you think? All right, so now it's on, and uh, we can we can see how it works. So until uh, next time, I'm gonna clean this up. That's the next uh, process, and then uh, and then like I said, I'll mount it. So there you go. I'll uh, see you next video.